Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Pau Express bersama saya Nina Nadira. Seperti biasa, saya nak remind korang untuk tonton Pau Express setiap hari Jumaat, Sabtu, Ahad di TV9. But if you missed out, you can watch it on YouTube TV3 Malaysia. And korang kena follow kami di Instagram di Pau Express 2019. So, let's begin the show and roll the teaser. Orang akan uh, tengok jalan cerita dia dan faham isi kandung dalam musik video ni dan ada di hujung-hujung tu ada sikit-sikit saya ada ucap sikit lah hujung tu kan Ed Sheeran Chris Bieber mengumumkan bah semuanya selepas kahwin di usia 44 tahun Okay guys, hari ni kita ada rapper in the house. I'm introduce you lah. Lil J. Hi, what's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, Selamat good, sejahtera. good. Selamat sejahtera ya. Yeah. Ah, tapi sebenarnya sepatutnya you bukan keseorangan hari ni kan? Uh, Cuba explain yeah. hari patutnya. Uh, hari ni I supposed to have MK and Ellen with me, but yes. sadly they can't make it. So I seorang je. Hari. Oh, tak apa tak apa. I teman you hari ni okay. boleh. Boleh. Alright, okay kita nak promote lagu, promosikan lagu you guys. I'm so. I'm uh, let's so. talk about the song. Um, I'm so to apa? Uh, what is it? What I'm is so is. Kita buat lagu ni untuk bagi confidence kepada orang yang yang muda sekarang. Mm -hmm. This new generation. Sebab uh, the new generation they don't know what is self love. Right. They, they haven't learned that and you know like a lot of people are get falling into depression and everything right, right. That's so true. we want to show them like i'm so is something like i'm so happy like i'm so That's fly nice because like usually, uh, usually much rap songs are usually much love depressing things yes. like you know this is more like you know naik ke semangat yeah. uplifting that's right yeah. okay um korang bertiga um bukit cerita sikit macam mana plan planning dia you guys uh, collaborate decide to collaborate bertiga ni um, how was it saya dapat beat ni daripada mm -hmm. producer from thailand oh uh, yeah his name is dll pro mm -hmm. and uh, I brought the beat in the studio and I bagi this another producer called Mingling to work nice. on it and then uh, me and MK and Ellen was in the studio that right. time and we just thought like uh, laguni the beat is actually very nice yeah, so we thought like nice. you know what let's work on this song and we did the song and everything and uh, yeah that's the, that's that's how it all went down it's just one day everything just happened Jadi macam datang lah show rezeki kurang like that lah yeah. okay and I tengok music video dia and it's superb guys and Thank it's you. almost 4 million dah 4 million lah yes, kot 4 million, 4 million Today. Ah, today. Yeah. Um, yeah, the punya planning in terms of music video, siapa punya idea? Um, uh, Rocket Fuel decided how they want to do the video, mm -hmm. and uh, they gave me the idea. They said like we should do it like this. We mm -hmm. should uh, do it with I, this uh, videographer right. from Sabah, I and see. we want to make it look very nature and very mm. natural and everything. So yeah, we went to Sabah. We shot the video. And everything. It's my. It, it was a great experience. Like, nice, the video nice. Good job, guys. Thank okay, you, kita nak you. borak lagi dengan LJ. Tapi sebelum tu kita ke segmen hashtag. Ed Sheeran menedahkan dia berjaya menurunkan berat badan hampir 30 kg sejak mengamalkan gaya hidup sehat bermula 3 tahun lalu. Dia memulakan senaman dan berhenti merokok bagi mendapatkan berat badan ideal pada 2016 masa konsert jelajah X dia 101 kg. Sekarang berat badannya berkurang menjadi 76 kg guys. Justin Bieber mengumumkan bakal melancarkan lagu dan album baru pada tahun 2020. Justin juga merancang untuk produce a documentary series and concert tour yang bakal bermula di Washington May nanti. Ya, mesti ramai peminat yang excited sebab 5 tahun Bieber tak mengeluarkan sebarang album. Choi Ji Woo, hero yang drama paling romantik tahun 2000, Winter Sona tak telah dilakukan hamil anak pertamanya selepas berkahwin di usia 44 tahun. Ji Woo sedang fokus menjaga kandungannya dan dijangka bakal melahirkan bayinya pada musim bunga nanti. And we're back. Sekarang tiba masanya untuk apa? Untuk soalan panas. Ah, are you okay. ready, LJ? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> so ready. basically, you know, do you know about soalan panas ni? Dia adalah maybe article ataupun things that we found on social media. So kita nak tanyakan soalan-soalan yang panas Boleh. kepada Lil J. So kita tengok apakah soalan dia. Soalan panas yang pertama. Rappers baru mostly 
tak boleh nyanyi live. Because I I rasa because I have a friend also rapper juga. Jadi so, kata kadang-kadang dia nyanyi on top. So maybe you boleh komen sedikit. Is it true or maybe you know some uh, rappers maybe you know? Mostly uh, it's true. And oh really? Yeah, mostly it's true. But uh, rappers always try nak perfect their art and everything. Wanna do their best. But mm-hmm. then like if they can't do it, means then you know it's all about entertaining. Is it different live dengan uh, recording? Yeah, it's different. It's different, it's, right? It's a whole different game. I yeah. see. So dia adalah uh, pengalaman yang berbeza lah in terms of live lah. Okey, lah, apalah itu tu macam tak panas je yeah, untuk kita. Kita tengok kita panaskan <laughs> lagi. Apakah soalan? Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> Lil J tumpang popularity artis lain. Ha, panas tak? Panas, panas sikit lah. Panas. Panas. <laughs> okay, okay. Comment, comment, comment Lil J. Uh, tumpang popularity. What do you think? About popularity, kita mm-hmm. dapat satu peluang right? to get our career, right? Mm-hmm. So if you get a chance to work with somebody yang lagi famous or yang lagi experience, mm-hmm. take the chance, do it. Okay, uh, dah, dah dah kita dah habis lah soalan panas kita sejuk sikit. Good, good, good. Uh, sekarang ni masuk untuk Lil Jin nak bagi hadiah kepada penonton dan juga peminat Pop yeah. Express. Sebelum tu, you guys kena follow kami di Pop Express 2019. So, jawab jawapan dia nanti dekat bawah. So before that, kita nak tahu apakah soalan dia, Lil Jin? Um, saya nak tanya, if you, uh-huh. can, if you guys can answer this, uh-huh. siapakah artis pertama yang berduet dengan Lil J? Siapakah artis pertama yang berduet dengan Lil J? Dan if you guys can answer that, you guys boleh menang apa? Tunjuk sikit. You can wow. get my favorite chain. Serious ah? Yes, it's uh, my favorite chain which uh, has brought me, uh-huh. which has been with me for my whole journey in life. Wow, very sentimental. So you guys are, you? are lucky to have it. Alright, okay. Tapi you guys kena jawab the Cup Express 2019 nanti. I tak sabar saya nak dengar you guys, you be performance lah. Yes. Walaupun tak ada teman, tapi tak apa, I tak sabar. Boleh. I love your song. Dan uh, again, you guys uh, follow kami di Pop Express 2019. Kita pun dah penghujung tahun. Uh, yeah. Kepada yang tengah holiday tu, selamat-selamat lah. Uh, jaga diri, jaga kesihatan, memandu secara apa? Cermat. Ah ya ya dia tak tahu dia tak tahu. <laughs> Alright okey tapi tahun 2020 kita akan bersiaran lagi Pop Express setiap hari Isnin sehingga Rabu. Kita akan habis dengan persembahan Lil J sebentar lagi dengan lagu Amsu tapi sebelum tu kita nak tengok cerita Kai Bahar. Apa cerita dia? Bye guys, happy new year. Bye bye. Semalam kau tawa bersama senyummu Manis Hari ini ialah pelancaran muzik video dan single Ratuku dan uh, sebenarnya single ni bukan sekadar single macam sebelum ni saya rilis dan single ni dia ada kelainan sikit lah di mana bila orang tengok muzik video ni orang akan uh, tengok jalan cerita dia dan faham isi kandung dalam muzik video ni dan ada di hujung-hujung tu ada sikit-sikit saya ada ucap sikit lah hujung tu kan dan uh, ingin memberi kesedaran kepada pendengar di luar sana lah untuk tengok apa yang disampaikan oleh saya. Okay, jadi kepada anda semua, boleh dengarkan lagu Ratuku di semua digital platform dan di YouTube channel 711. I'ma get it if I want to. That is something that I can't do. On my grind like pronto. 
It's the